There are so many times when I watch a romantic comedy or a romantic drama, and as much as the emotions are swelling into me, and as much as I could be laughing as well, there's always something that feels a little bit fake and fabricated. But for some reason, every so often, we get a special romantic drama that comes in and kicks you in the face, makes you want to cry, and instantly makes you love the main characters, even if the actors are so recognizable. That's because they just blend into it all. And We Live in Time is that exact special romantic drama. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing We Live in Time, probably one of the most relatable romantic dramas that almost any couple can come in and watch and feel real to what you are experiencing and going through in this. And I think a lot of that does say a lot to how simple the story is. And I'm very excited to talk about this movie because it's about an up and coming chef played by Florence Pugh and a recent divorcee played by Andrew Garfield who find their lives forever changed when a chance encounter brings them together in a decade spanning, deeply moving romance directed by John Crowley and written by Nick Payne. Now, as I've said from the top, I, if you can't tell, I really liked this movie to the point where I would even say I probably love this movie. And it's one of those romantic dramas that really surprised me because it had all the things to make me excited. Andrew Garfield, Florence Pugh, two of my favorite actors working in Hollywood right now. You also have John Crowley, who I think is a phenomenal director, and I think he did a great job with Brooklyn, one of the first films I ever saw of his and became obsessed when he directs. And it is a romantic drama, plus it's also from A24. Like, all these things were stirring up, but... I had my nervousness going into this movie. And some of that could be Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh is this kind of like one of those castings that you do it because they're two of the most popular actors in the film sphere. And even if it was picked for that, they transcend and transform into these roles where you just forget it's them. And I'm so excited to talk about this movie today. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, the first thing I actually want to talk about this time around in my movie review is actually my issue with the movie and a mixed aspect that I think may bother some but for me I actually came to love it in this film now first off my only nitpick and issue with the actual film is the fact that it there's sometimes where I, I wish they would have expanded on a couple different moments throughout their life that they really touch in onto it never goes deeper than certain situations where I wish it would but at the same time, I can understand for the purpose of what this film is supposed to be, which I'll talk about my mixed aspect, but that is one thing that I think will bother some and may bother people way further than it did for me. For me, it was mostly just a nitpick, so it didn't piss me off as much or anything like that. It didn't affect the relationship or the romance for me or especially their chemistry. That was never affected by this. It's just certain things I would have liked to have added to the characters, and I think some people might have issues seeing that they're a little bit surface level from what you actually get to see. I disagree with that, but I can see some people having that conversation. The mixed aspect for me is when this film starts, it jumps jumps a lot around this decade uh, pretty fast within the first 10 minutes. And it kind of reminded me of Beautiful Boy. If you haven't seen that movie, it's Timothy Chalamet, Steve Carell, phenomenal movie, highly recommended. But that film bounces around a lot in its timeline too. And a lot of people weren't fans of that, but that was one of those rare occurrences where I understood what they were doing and I liked it. Some films will do this and I don't think it works. We Live in Time is one of the rare occurrences where it does work because of what the purpose of this movie is. The purpose of this movie is that whole saying of your life flashes before your eyes, you know, and I think sometimes they even add into there that it's some of the best moments of your life. And I think We Live in Time is the hour and 47 minutes of us flashing through their lives, the ups, the downs. But in the end of the day, because they were with one another, it was the best time of their lives. And for me, th th coming out with that feeling, because once I realized that within like, I think by the 20 minute mark, I kind of understood what they were trying to do with this editing style, with the storytelling style. It started to swell me with emotion. And I'm, I'm going to try my best not to cry right now. I'm not going to lie. This is my second take of this entire review. The first time I did cry. Um, and I didn't cry in this movie, but it was it's a film that had tears on the edge of my eyes lids the entire time. 
And it just built and built and built and swelled up those emotions that I just felt so strong in this movie. And it was such a beautiful and poetic and touching film to have all those feelings kind of coming through you. Even as simple as it can be, it just feels real and realistic. And a lot of that can be said because of the directing from John Crowley, who just has this very simple approach to this storytelling. And Nick Payne's script, which is the way that all this is coming together. All these moments, all these memories that you see. You see one memory that ties into one memory that comes in years later because of a conversation in there or an event that had happened in there. And I really like how it all kind of comes together. And you never, by the end of the story, feel confused on where one thing was or another. You feel like you put together a puzzle piece a puzzle piece of a ride that again feels like I just went through and saw their entire relationship and the way that it came together and how it even flourished all into what it needed to become into. And I think that's kind of beautiful and touching. And I don't think we look at that enough and specifically how they try to look into the present right then and there. <coughs> Which is like, which I think is something that a lot of us probably should try and do more of in these days and in our time. But we live in time just never disappointed to that. And I was so happy to see how this film, again, crafted that. And I think John Crowley as a director needs to be very much acclaimed for that. And same with Nick Payne's script. But this film really only works if you have two phenomenal performances. And that is Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh, who are both perfection in this. Their chemistry is bar none just immaculate and believable. But the thing that really surprised me is, you know, I've seen them in so many different things, but they always find a way to transition away from Florence Pugh and Andrew Garfield. They become these characters so vividly that you just forget that you're watching a movie and you sink into their love story and you sink into how much they care about each other. And through all the different moments and all the different trials and tribulations that they go through, these are things that couples deal with. Even if it does feel unrealistic, there, there's a whole gas station sequence that for some may feel is the most unrealistic thing in the world. But weirdly enough, I looked at me and my wife and I was like, I could see that happening. Like just it's that bad of luck, that unlucky moment. But it, it would work. It would work for that because that is the way to have that perfect moment and i i love 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 how we live in time dictates that and touches into all the beautiful moments and its score that accompanies all of this really flourishes and brings this movie to life that by the time it ended i just felt like i had not been hit by a truck very much felt like I went for a ride through one hell of a relationship and one that makes me look now at my w marriage in all the different things throughout our entire life, the good, the bad, the roller coasters of emotions and why it is the perfect reason why. And I think it will do that for many, many people out there. So for me, We Live in Time sends you through a transcending level of emotions as it flashes through the life of one couple. It's relatable, it's emotional, it's funny, it's awkward, but it's sincerely real. Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh are perfection. And for me, this movie deserves your attention and I cannot highly recommend this movie enough. So with all that said, I'm gonna give We Live in Time an A-. minus. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.